Hi class, tonight we're going to be talking about Lake Michigan and the invasive species found within Lake Michigan. Earlier today I gave you a worksheet with a few questions on it. Please have that worksheet out as the answers to the questions will be in this presentation. To begin, we'll talk about the definition of invasive species. An invasive species is an animal, plant, or bacterium that is not native to that area and has a negative effect on the health of the ecosystem. An example of an invasive species in Lake Michigan is zebra mussels. In this picture, the zebra mussels are the smaller shells that are attached to the large clam shell. Zebra mussels are what are known as filter feeders. So they filter out plankton that's in the water, and that removes a food source for the minnows and small fish in Lake Michigan. Also found in the body of water that is Lake Michigan are spiny water fleas. These little creatures act similar to the zebra mussels in that they eat plankton and remove food from the bottom of the food web in Lake Michigan. Also found in Lake Michigan are these small fish known as alewife or alewives. Uh, they reached their highest population in the 1950s and the 1960s. Uh, they got into Lake Michigan by going through a canal that went around Niagara Falls. Uh, as a fun fact, when their populations hit their highest in the 50s and 60s, uh, the fish would die off every summer, and the cities on the boundaries of Lake Michigan would actually hire people to drive bulldozers to remove the dead fish from the beaches. Also found near Lake Michigan and making their way towards Lake Michigan are Asian carp. These fish are extremely destructive as they also eat the plankton from the water but they also reproduce very fast and have no uh, known predators in Lake Michigan. I have a video for you to watch. It's only about two and a half minutes long. I think you'll enjoy it. In the 1970s, silver carp were accidentally introduced into these waters after escaping from a fish farm. They now outnumber local fish by 10 to 1. They have some truly bizarre behaviour. Some can clear three meters in a single leap. The secret of this extraordinary behavior lies in the boat's motors. The fish mistake pressure waves from the propeller for the movement of predators and literally jump with fright. They react in alarm to every passing boat. With numbers close to bursting point, each leaping fish scares its neighbor, creating a dangerous chain reaction. As some weigh over 40 pounds, collisions can be deadly. In some parts of the river, 200 fish missiles can launch at any one time. They have already caused serious injuries, and as they spread to other rivers, the danger increases by the day. Well, that is our presentation for tonight. Uh, please finish the worksheet and have the worksheet completed uh, for class tomorrow. Thank you.